Dodger Yankees, two, you know, pillar franchises in the sport, obviously with a lot of, um, you know, history going back a long, long time. And, the, and these two teams have met up a lot in the Fall Classic. Um, amazing that it's been 43 years. Um, and, uh, but it's, it's certainly special, especially with having a few days to let, allow it to sink in and uh, getting ready. Um, I think this is something that um, <clears throat> will, will garner a lot of interest all over the country, all over the world. Um, you know, probably more so than usual. Um, I think everyone can identify with Dodgers, can identify with Yankees, and just what that means worldwide. So, excited to be a part of it. Um, but, you know, for us, now that's all it is. We're getting ready for an opponent with a chance to win a world title, and that's what we're looking forward to. I think so. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, at that time, obviously Hideki was, you know, a huge presence and, and a star already in his own right in, in Japan before coming over. Um, but you were starting to see those, you know, Hideo Nomo and, and things like that. I, I played with Kaz Matsui, too, in, in Houston. Um, so, you know, there's been a lot of guys come over with varying degrees of success, but so I, I can't necessarily say I'm, I'm surprised. And I, I think everyone, to some degree, knew obviously what a great talent Shohei was before he came over here. And obviously, he's, he's proven that. Um, and with Yamamoto, we got to know him a little bit last winter. You know, I, I, I think there's more, there's more players over there that will be knocking on the door with the chance for stardom over here, I'm sure, over the next couple of years. So I don't. Yeah, I, I don't think it's that surprising, frankly. I mean, there's, there's great players all over the world, as we're seeing. And, and obviously, we know what, what baseball means in Japan. Yeah, certainly. I mean, obviously, Aaron being healthy all year has played a huge role as well. Uh, and the rotation has been fantastic. I mean, there's a lot of credit to be, you know, divvied up amongst all the players. I mean, it, it always takes... It always takes a full 26-man roster to get to this position, and you never know who's going to contribute in big games as we go forward. But, you know, to say that Juan has been extremely consistent uh, and extremely potent throughout the entire season is uh, he's 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 definitely done that for us, and and that's been something that we've had to lean on at times, and and at times, uh, you know, really enjoy uh, you know the fruits of his labor. Yeah, I was really saddened to read about it the other day. Um, I, I can't recall if I, I, I think I had met him in passing maybe once or twice, um, you know, and I had heard that, you know, there was maybe a bit of an issue a few weeks ago, but, um, you know, I didn't know much about it. So I was taken off guard and I was, you know, I was deeply saddened. I mean, he's um, one of the great Dodgers of all time, one of the great Mexican players of all time. And uh, he's, he's, he's a legend and, uh, you know, it's just sad he won't be here for this series, but he's probably got a great seat for it upstairs. Uh, it is worldwide. Um, I, I think that's what's going to make this uh, World Series so special, so unique. Um, you know, you could easily argue that um, on, a, on a global scale, the Yankees and the Dodgers are the most followed, the most supported, the most visible. And so obviously with that, those two, you know, our two great organizations and the branding, um, it's going to be very visible. I, I think you know. I think Aaron can say the same thing. I, I think that it's a, it's a, it's our lineup is very uh, controls the strike zone. Um, we can slug, and um, you know the ability to create stress traffic by way of a walk. Um, we do that as well, and so you know when you get one through nine, it, it gets daunting, and um, it, it's hard for, you know, a starter to go three times through the lineup. And then in a longer series, you're starting to see the same guys again. So all that stuff, you know, starts to benefit, become an advantage for the offense. And so that's kind of overall kind of our approach and trying to scare pitchers out of the strike zone. 
No, you control what you can control. You go out and you prepare. Um, you get ready with, on, the, on the days in between. And you're ready to go, just a uh, you know, different opponent out there. And you just uh, you know, treat it like you would any other series or any other game. So you know, everything else stays the same. Everything in between stays the same. It's just uh, everything on the outside kind of changes.